Hi guys, in this lecture we will talk about the image, how we can show image, how we can design the image the UI using our systems. So before that we will see how we can do that in HTML. So let's have a look. This is the bootstrap and if we have to show any image on the UI, we can use this image tag. This is a tag which is available in HTML and we just give the source. This can be the external URL as well as uh, we can provide the folder or, uh, or the complete path of that image, uh, server path. It will show that image. If we have to use the same, there are again two ways to do that. One is image widget, what we have uh, in Auto Systems. And the second is we can use the HTML widget, custom HTML, so that we can just render this image in the same way. We'll see the second option probably in some next lectures. So in, in another lecture, but for, for now, we'll see the image. So let's begin. I have created the application. I have created the module. I have created the screen as well. And, uh, uh, and uh, um, this is my content. Here, I will just drag and drop the image. IMG. No, I'm not image. Image. This is the widget which shows the image. Let me drag and drop again. You see? Now, here I will require to provide the path of image and the type will be local image. Just check the type. So, we can provide the external URL as well as we can provide the complete binary. If we have a variable in which we have a binary, binary um, of image is um, assigned or is, if binary uh, file of image is present, then we can directly provide that particular variable here. Uh, it, it does not show any, any suggestion because we don't have any binary variable available here. If we want to show from external URL, we can just show from external URL. If we want to show from the local image, we can show from local image. Local image will be present here. So it will give suggestion. You say this much of local image are present here under the image folder. If we have to add another image, we can just right click and import the image. Let me add this image and I will show this image here. This image. So it will show like this. Okay. Let me just create one more widget so that I will show from the uh, server. Uh, we will we'll just provide a URL. So let me right click to the main content, add one more image below this. And to this image, instead of local, we will just give the external URL. So let me find out the external URL of the image. So this is the image uh, what is present on my server. So we can just use this URL. So let me copy and let me paste this URL here. This URL can we can also uh, use this URL from a variable, right? Uh, if it is the dynamic URL, or we are deriving some from somewhere, we are fetching from database, or we are just um, preparing the URL, a custom URL or a dynamic URL, we can give the variable as well. That's it. I believe there is no need to um, um, just uh, show you the uh, actual implement actual behavior on the web. Because you can see here only, it, it, it will show in the same way what you see here. So this is one of my event what I am going to have by 12th September. I don't know uh, what date it is when you are watching this video. Just, just a simple example I am showing you. So let me just show you while accessing the um, application and how it will look in actual. So let's wait for one minute guys i believe it's some sometime it takes time right oh my god oh it is taking some time because it is rendering the image and for the second one as well the same thing right second one it has not rendered why you see we don't have an image let me right click and let me see the error so we have an error refuse to load the image from this 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 because it violates the following content security policy oh my god yes because we'll have to whitelist this domain currently this domain is not whitelist that's why from external domain out system application is not allowing us to uh, render the image so how we can do so for that, we'll have to do this activity in from the service studio. So if we want to open the service studio, we can just do like this. We can just copy this URL and we can go to 
सर्विस स्टूडियो सर्विस सर्विस सेंटर नर्स स्टूडियो दिस इज वन वे और वी कैन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस फ्लावर आईकॉन फ्रॉम द सर्विस स्टूडियो एंड इट विल डायरेक्टली ओपन द सर्विस सेंटर सो लेट मी जस्ट शो यू लेट मी जस्ट ओपन दैट फ्रॉम द लाइफ टाइम एप्लीकेशन वी कैन जस्ट व्हाइट लिस्ट द uh this particular url so let me just copy this url this is the domain not the exact url we'll just require to white list the domain so open the environment uh, just by clicking this link you can open the lifetime application so this is the security con configuration if we have to do any security configuration or if we have to white list any domain um if we have to change the content security policy we can do that in the lifetime go to lifetime under environments under environments more security setting and under more security setting will have something it takes some time to load and i my internet is also a bit slow so you see here we have the content security policy so uh, i was just checking with something i can just remove this no no more i require this particular domain so here we can just give but for our scenario we need to give and un give under ms image src but i can give everywhere right here as well because i will require in next lecture when i will show you the video playing right then video player then i will require the same thing uh, so we can just provide this everywhere because this is our trusted domain right that's it let me just save it so uh, this is not enough after saving we will require one more step if you will refresh the service center i have saved from service from lifetime and if you will refresh the service center let me refresh it again you see environment setting change so we will require to do this activity so apply setting to factory then it will apply the setting to factory to all the modules and we will also require to refresh the module so this is our module either we can refresh uh, make any change or refresh from here or we can just open the module from service center so let me show you how we can open you you see we have this module just right click and open in another tab meanwhile it is uh, applying the setting here and you can search for your module what is the module name demo application in the recent item it has otherwise you can just search here as well demo application demo application you see we can see a flag and let's read what this flag security configuration changed mobile application module need to be published to use the new hsps and or content security policy fact so let's okay it it has been applied let me publish the latest version because we have not made any change in the code so we can just republish the latest version if we will publish from here it will create one more version in this particular scenario we don't want to create one more version right we just want to refresh the module refresh the dependencies and all done let me just open this uh, refresh this page now it should not give us the content security policy and it should load some other policy content security policy it is giving we can just ignore that content security problems it is giving we can just ignore that so this is the image from local this is the image from server you see that's it guys uh, that's it for this lecture we have seen two three things here right how we can um, set the content security policy under the lifetime application we can set like this we can save after that we can just uh, refresh the module as well as we can uh, apply the content security policy or newly ch changed policy in the factory from this service center application that's it guys that's it for this lecture thanks for watching